Welcome back to Fitness, Nutrition and Soul channel. Today we're going to learn about the iodine. So iodine is the another macronutrient, it's a mineral. Uh, iodine is really important for your thyroid function. The thyroid function actually promotes the growth and is really required for your metabolism. So a person with the um, <clears throat> deficit of the iodine will have the slow metabolism. So let's see what are the deficiencies of the uh, iodine and how much we need. The very first one is that the, it prevents the mental retardation and the intellectual disability. So a pregnant woman who is deficient of the iodine, the chances of having a baby with the mental retardation and the intel, uh, like intellectual disability increase a lot. So a pregnant woman should make sure that there is enough iodized food if she can't make it from the food, then there is a um, iodized supplement or iodine supplement. The very one, the, the, sorry, the next one is the slow metabolism. So as I explained before, so if your diet is deficient of the iodine, it will slow your thyroid function and that will slow your metabolism and that will cause the weight gain. And then it doesn't matter how much, um, how are you working in the gym, you might be eating right, you're really working hard, but you're not losing the weight. And it could be one of the reasons that your thyroid function is um, um, low. And some of the professional bodybuilders, they take the thyroid, um, it's not the supplements, it's the thyroid, um, I think it still comes in the uh, drug category. Uh, and they take that um, to promote the more fat loss. Um, the next one is that it started the growth in children. So if the children who are growing up and they don't have enough iodine in the salt, they, it can affect on the growth as well. So for pregnant women, which I explained before, a pregnant woman really need the iodine salt um, to prevent all the deficiencies which I've mentioned. Then the next one is the hypothyroidism. So hypothyroidism is that if you are um, deficiency if you are being on deficit of the iodine for a long term and then the symptoms can be the dry skin hair loss fatigue and slow reflexes so you just gotta make sure that show that you take enough iodine in your diet and I think around 2 billion people in the world are deficient of the iodine and um, which is a very large number and it is a preventable one I think most of the, uh, the, the, the um, I think the major reason is that they are deficient because um, they don't have other access to the iodized salt or they can't afford it or they are living in some areas where the soil is poor in iodine. So like for example in Australia, I believe that in some areas the soil is deficient in the iodine but however recently and I think in 2013 or maybe before, um, the government has made compulsory to add the iodized salt in the bread. All right, let's have a look at how much is the RDI. So one to eight years old needs the 90 microgram. Then the nine to 10 is the 120 microgram. 14 to 18 years old need the 150. Now the pregnant woman needs 220. So which is 70 micrograms more than the normal person. And then breastfeeding, she even needs more. She needs 270 micrograms. So if, as you can see, a normal person and the woman who is lactating she actually needs nearly the double iodine so in one of the food sources you got your dairy products you got your sea food you got seaweed um, eggs bread some vegetables and iodized salt and if you still cannot match your requirement you can talk to the dietitian or nutritionist and add the iodine salt from 50 micrograms and see how your body responds that's it guys thanks for watching my video and just one thing i'm actually working on my website so i'm gonna come back with my website in another two weeks maybe and uh yeah so if you haven't subscribed my channel please do it now and uh, also press the notification button and i will see you um next week with the another video thanks